guys, it's HMK once again with another Zelda discussion video. And now we are talking about The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD and its graphics because that has been a hot button lately in the Zelda community. Does the graphics really look the same? Do they improve nothing? Is it a lazy remaster or a remake? We're going to discuss that right now. And with me, I've got a very good friend of mine. Please, everyone, welcome Zelda Master Luke. Hey guys, I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, so um, one thing I want to talk about uh, when it comes to Tall Prince HD's graphics is that I see there is a massive improvement when it comes to these graphics. A lot of people still say it looks the same, but I mean, when it comes to Tall Prince HD, it's really the nitty gritty details that look so much better. Everything looks so crisp. Everything, I think everything pops a little bit more when it comes to um, how detailed the scenery is and the characters are. What do you think about that? Yeah, it really shows how crappy Wii's resolution was. <laughs> like, honestly, it does. Cause no, no, you you're can, right, you're right. I can see, it's like you put on glasses, pretty much. Like, I'm blind, so without my glasses, I can't see. That's what I feel like when I look at the original Twilight Princess and its HD version, because you can, there's so many textures, and I didn't know that, and it looks so nice. It looks like it's pretty much emulated on a computer or something, but it's not, which I think is really cool. Like, I'm obviously it didn't look as good, as like people wanted it to, but it looks it looks really good for a remake. Right, I feel so. and I, I feel that a lot of people got a little I would say um, spoiled a little bit because I don't know if you remember um, the whole conundrum, uh, the whole craze that was going on uh, with the Legend of Zelda Twilight Prince HD hints, where we saw that uh, those renders of Link in uh, Target and Walmart and from the financial report, where we see Link in the stance of Twilight Prince HD. But oh, it was like yeah. a, a really high scale version of that, and a lot of people, because of that, were expecting something along those lines. And That's like, what I thought. I thought it was going to be a complete rehaul. Like yeah, they were gonna no make mind it. me too. I was like, yo, this. if it is, I'm like, I cannot wait. And then when, when we saw what we were getting, uh, I guess a lot of people were um, discouraged by that. And uh, I remember a lot of reactions when they first showed it off at the Nintendo Direct back in November. That a lot of people were like, "Oh, why? Why does this look the same? It's no, no difference at all. It looks lazy. It looks crappy." And it did uh, look bad at the Nintendo Direct, though. It maybe because they were streaming it, or it wasn't like maybe they updated it a little or something. I don't know. I wasn't too impressed with it. Like when I saw it, I'm like, "Oh god, this looks like it's emulated." But then. When you really look at it, it's like, okay, it may look like it's emulated, but like, what else could they do? They'd have to literally remake everything for what it's worth if they want to make it look better, like better than it should. So like, I'm happy with it. Plus, I've gotten so used to like high resolution games that I don't want to play Twilight Princess on the Wii. I really want to play it upscaled in 1080p now. So right, it seems really it. necessary for them to make it. Nice. Um... Because that, that was the one thing that a lot of people were talking about when they first saw the, uh, the footage from the Nintendo Direct and some footage from trailers and stuff. I feel that that's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of blurs because of uh, the Direct feed they were doing, um, trying to like, you know, showcase the game and they were getting a lot of Direct, they were getting a lot of feed blur from it. So yeah. um, that kind of, you know, put a damper on the situation. But uh, to me, I, I've seen those really high quality trailers that Nintendo's starting to put out now and I see the difference, especially with Fyrus. Um, his particle effects are off the charts now compared to that of Twilight Prince HD. So it's not just, you know, a, uh, a slight gra graphical overhaul where they're just, you know... Yeah, you um, can tell the Wii U is more capable of, you know, rendering more stuff. Like, you just know it's stronger. Like, it's the ga it's showing the game better, you know. I bet I doubt there's going to be as much lag. Actually, then again, Wind Waker HD had a lot of lag. So who knows? Right. It might lag a lot as well. But it looks like it's going to run a lot smoother. So that's cool. I hope so. Because, you know, what we've seen from the Game Explain dudes, uh, they said that the loading times have been uh, dumbed down a bit. And I'm glad for that, too. Because And yeah. also, uh, Link's movements are a, are a lot faster. Um, he climbs vines faster. He goes around the vines faster. He swims more fluently. Um, Epona is supposed to be controlled better in Twilight Prince HD. A lot of people complain about it, but I didn't really see a... Um, uh, a big issue with opponent's uh, controls. Only when you had to attack a lot of things in those two, um, I would say those two missions where you had to recover Colin and you had to protect Elia uh, and Telma yeah. from those people going into Kakariko Village. But yeah. um, I, I'm glad that you brought up uh, Wind Waker HD because a lot of people, a lot of people are comparing the two graphical styles and the two graphical overhauls each other and they're saying that because um, Wind Waker, Wind Waker HD's graphical overhaul was so much better than that of Twilight Prince HD, and it it really isn't because if you really notice about the game, uh, Wind Waker HD, they didn't upscale the graphical count, the graphical polygon count, um, they didn't add more textures, 
all they did was um, up the color palette, they increased the lighting effects, they added more shadowing, uh, more dynamic shadow and bloom effect to the game, which looks beautiful, don't get me wrong, but yeah. um, a lot of people are saying that, oh, we got a lot more with Winmare HD, Twilight Prince HD uh, does not up the scale. Um, Winmaker HD, the thing with Windraker is that it's a cel it's a cel shaded game. It's going to look a lot better along the lines because it's more colorful. It pops more. Of course, it's going to look better on the surface level, and it's going to age way better than that Twilight Princess HD because Twilight Princess is a re realistic game. They can't really do the same kind of things and get the same kind of effects in Twilight Princess HD as they did in Wind Waker HD. All they can do is, you know, uh, I would say balance out the colors, which I do see in Twilight Princess HD. The, the colors look great. They don't bleed into each other like they did on the Wii. And, yeah. um, you know... And all of the, I would say, the nitty-gritty, the, the, it's like the details that you have to notice. I feel that Wind Waker HD, it looks better on a surface level, but Twilight Prince HD looks better on a more detailed level. But I want to hear your thoughts. Yeah, no, because uh, we were talking about this earlier, like how people always compare it to Wind Waker HD. And it's just like, well, if in reality, most likely, you know, Twilight Princess got the exact same makeover Wind Waker HD got. It's just it doesn't hold up to nowadays because it looks worse because Wind Waker has cartoony graphics, Twilight Princess aimed for realistic, so they'd have to update the graphics entirely to make it more modern nowadays. So that's the one thing people don't get. They don't look at it as in, oh, it's just kind of like an upscale and that's all it is. Instead of, you know, oh, this is a remaster. Because Wind Waker looked like it was a remastering of the original, but it wasn't. It was literally an upscale, just like Twilight Princess HD. And that's the one thing everyone, I guess, doesn't notice. So right. that's why people keep comparing it to Wind Waker. She's like, oh, this is way worse. But it's not. It's exactly the same. All right. If you go up to a mountainside on Wind Waker HD, it's going to have the same amount of graphical detail as it did in the original GameCube version. However, if you go to the uh, mountainside or a type of wall or a stone wall in Twilight Prince HD, you're going to see the cracks. You're going to see the moss growing in between those cracks. You're going to see all of that little detail in that mountain. You know, that's, yeah, that's it's way more difference. noticeable, and it's, it has so much to it, and it's yeah, it's actually a 1080p game that shows, because Wind Waker, look at the sea, it's just blue, it's a solid color of blue, and now, like, Twilight Princess, we look at the grass, and it's, like, a hundred different, like, textures, and, you know, it's, like, this constant, like, really cool pattern on the screen, it looks really realistic, and it looks really nice, but... Yeah, that, see, that was the difference. When they first made it in, what, 2006, it it looked good for its time, but it didn't hold up. And now that they upscaled it, people think, you know, that it needed more to it, but it doesn't. Right, I totally feel you. Now, let's end off this video uh, discussing a little bit about our favorite upscale qualities of Twilight Princess HD. Mine, my personal favorite, is that uh, the scenery... The colors and I, yeah, the scenery and the colors don't bleed into each other in um, in Twilight Princess HD. You can see that distinct separation of colors and uh, designs and details in the scenery in uh, the cutscenes. You can see the difference and the separation between those. And because of that it pops more, it looks a lot more crisp. That's my favorite part of Twilight Princess HD. What's yours? Uh, straight up. Okay, so I I wanted to buy the GameCube version of Twilight Princess, and I did. For one reason, and that is so I can play the whole game with free camera control. Because in the Wii version, they didn't allow you to have that because you have to use the Wii Nunchuck, the Wiimote Nunchuck. Right. So now I can play it in 16x9, so you know the resolution the Wii had, which is something I really liked. But with all buttons, and I get to use the 360 camera control, which wasn't available in the Wii version, which I thought was really dumb. Like, the GameCube had such a better feature and better controls... But it didn't support 16x9, and that's what forced me to play the Wii version because I wanted to have, you know, actual resolution to fit my TV, like a widescreen TV or something, instead of have it stretched out. So it's really cool how I'm gonna play the game the way it should be, you know, like with the controller or my gamepad or whatever, because I doubt there's gonna be any motion controls in this game. It's gonna be a lot like Wind Waker. So that's going to be really cool. Right, I totally feel it. And I want to know what you guys think. What is your favorite thing looking forward to Twilight Prince HD? Leave in the comment section below. And what do you think about the graphics in our discussion? Please leave all your thoughts in the comment section below. And while you're at it, rate the video and subscribe for more Zelda news and discussions. Remember guys, Twilight Prince HD launches in March. Very soon, less than a month away. And also, be sure to check out Zelda Master Luke's channel for more Zelda content. He's in the middle of a Skyward Sword Let's Play, right?
Yeah, hopefully I finish it one day. <laughs> All right, cool, cool. Okay, so guys, this has been HMK and Zelda Master Luke, and until next time, we will check you guys later. We will check you guys.